my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in to stay, come in today, come in to my heart. Lord Jesus. The ancients, they taught us something. They say, if you find a song, are you with me? That, that heart is in it. And, you find, and Jesus is in it. These two things. It will, it, will, it will take you on a trip inside. But today you sing about fire. No. Go deeper. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my heart. Lord Jesus. Come in. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in, come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. If you cultivate your heart diligently, you will find wisdom, not just for yourself, for your, for, for your community, for your nation. Being in power, for instance, is a curse if you don't have wisdom. There are some states in this country I'm, I'm wondering why somebody will say he's the governor of that state when he's totally devoid of wisdom. The activities in the place happen without him and he will still be talking on the microphone. Oh, if you cultivate your heart. If you cultivate it. That's where he sees. That's where reverence is born. And he sees that you reverence him in there. He will come to you in the night. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart. Come in, come in to stay. Come in to day. Come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in, come in to stay. Come in. Did is what we call heart cultivation. 
So it's easy for you to interface with the Father now. If he speaks, you will hear. Most of you enter into his presence. You, you won't speak. You didn't cultivate the inner membrane. There was no cultivation. A time comes when after cultivation, as they are speaking the words, they are strong. They are strong. You can feel it. It means you cultivated adequately. So the spirit of God is riding on your utterance and making them appear in heaven. Oh, come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to my heart. to take your heart serious then the love of God is shed abroad your heart by the Holy Ghost and it will be difficult for you to offend Jesus because you have something with him the love of God happens to be what constrains us what keeps us in government what keeps us in right standing with God because we are not willing to offend him. We know the experience of the revelation of the love of God. This is what I do in the closet before I come to preach. People say I'm powerful. I break down before him. I, then he will look at me. I will open the ears of the deaf. If you have relationship, you can get anything else. You can get power. You can get wisdom. You can... But the Father see it in secret. Oh my. Oh my. I haven't known this. Can you speak to him from your heart? Learn how to talk to him without without speaking words from your mouth don't say anything from your mouth just use your heart to talk use your heart to talk talk from your heart to him if you are really doing what I say you should do you shouldn't be looking at the preacher if you are looking at the preacher it means you are not practicing talk to him from inside you will find that your heart has a, a vocal chamber there's a vocal cord there. Zaito Kimbro Bosketa. Shaminando Ski Prokopeta Bigalaito. Shima Hambroske Toki Lobala Musketa Mesoli Dagadebo. In Jesus' name. Look at me. What you just did now is you shut the door. That's the practicality of shutting, going into a closet. Shutting the door. Your heart has a room, an exclusive chamber where you can stand with him. Right? If you don't cultivate it, you will not know there's a room. And in that place, the, the utterances that flow from there, flow through the the rings of your heart is the purest form of intercourse. That's where he picks your desires from. There is a room there. There is a room there. That's where I meet him. When I've met him there, I can come to the crusade ground and shout hallelujah. That one that I met in the privacy of that environment, he will come out in the open to defend every discussion we had there. Oh my. Oh my. Oh me. If we push this service for five more minutes, he will come here. Because we have spoken in that place. 
There is a room where only you can stand. Right there in your heart. Call me to stay. Call me today. Come in to my heart. It will start becoming real to you. Because he will begin to show you his shape and his form. It will be so real that you can cry. You have shut the door. What is happening is happening from within you, not from outside of you. And it grows with intensity. And if you have known him in that inner chamber, that inner place, the secret and the inward parts, if you have known him there, there is nothing that happens on the outside that will be strong enough to break you. No. We live from inside. We live from inside. You can survive any storm if your heart relationship with him is alive. Tonight we ask that you will suck us into our hearts. Give us the, sen the sensitivity that is needed for us to discern your movements in that inner chamber. When you strip yourself and you show us your form and your shape. Cause our spiritual eyes to behold the splendor, the glory. And to know that heaven and earth can pass away. But that glory will remain forever. Lead us. And reveal yourself in the secret. And in what part. That our faith in you might be strengthened. That our confidence in you might be renewed. That we might have what it takes to stand before the enemy. And say it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah.